Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a what I wore in a week. When was the last time I did one of these? I think it might have been like nine months ago. So it is my second outing of leaving the house after about four months to, you know, do something that's not going to the supermarket. And we've already had a small bed explosion of clothing. So I think we should probably call this a success. Although I did just shout at Ryan. I was like, not shout at Ryan, but in his general direction, I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> He's just like smiling at his phone like, I'm, I'm not entertaining this. I've only been waiting here for like an hour. Uh, I'm so sorry. He's actually been playing PlayStation. He's fine. <laughs> Make out like it's a hardship. You're like, oh, 20 minutes. I can play some PlayStation. It's been way longer than 20 minutes. But I thought with this what I wore in a week, like we all haven't been out the house in such a long time. And this is like, I'm struggling. So I thought I would try and be slightly more helpful than usual, fingers crossed. And I'm gonna actually insert like what the weather is doing. Most people I know, I feel like they just look out the window and kind of see what the weather's doing. And you know, that's kind of it. Or they look at the weather and they just kind of look at whether it's like sunny, cloudy, but I look at the wind and like what kind of directions and what speed it's going. Why is it so blue in here? But yeah, I look at like the whole thing of like temperature, wind, all of that. So today it is sunny, cloudy. Ryan and I are going like into Brighton where it is set to be a lot more cloudy than it is where we are. So basically I've kind of like dressed a little bit warmer than I think I need to. It's basically a jacket or definitely jumper weather. So I've gone for a kind of like cardigan, jeans, open shoe combo. So for today's outfit, I've gone for this little ASOS cardigan. If you're quite a chilly person, you could put like a vest top on underneath as well. And then I've got my ASOS jeans with the split hem, which I love. And then some and other stories, sandals, which match the cardigan really beautifully. So the whole outfit works really well together. And then I've just paired it with my little beige down the wrong bag. I could have gone for the yellow, but I just felt like that was a bit too many different yellow tones. Whereas this beige is a slightly yellowy beige. So it actually works really well. It's slightly different in tone, which the camera will probably pick up quite heavily but i'm happy with this outfit i feel like we got there in the end this is actually an outfit that i've put together before and i really love oh and in terms of earrings i've kept it really simple i've got these gold ones from and other stories they're a really light gold so i feel like they work really well with everything that i'm wearing and i've just literally left it that simple and then for my lip color i have got the giorgio armani lip maestro in shade 103 i love this lip color it's the best i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready Good morning everybody, so it is, what day is it? It's Thursday, it's an upload day, must remember that. So yesterday's outfit, I actually was very happy with. It was very windy in Brighton as suspected, like really sometimes felt like I was being attacked <laughs> by the wind, but my outfit held up well and I wasn't cold. We sat outside and had lunch and it was very overwhelming for me, but the outfit held up really, really well. I think knitwear and like jeans on a chilly day in spring is definitely a go-to for me, especially with the current coat situation however i did feel slightly like i over egged it for one of my first like outings back out so today i'm wearing what i wish i'd worn yesterday i'm actually just going to get my hair done today i'm not going particularly far and i think i'm gonna drive there so keep that in mind when i show you today's outfit i haven't got the full outfit on yet in case you're wondering i haven't lost my mind but i'm keeping it quite simple a lot less colorful than yesterday and a lot more casual i loved yesterday's outfit like it's one of my favorite outfits in my wardrobe at the moment it's just so cute i love the dark denim and that kind of pale creamy lemon yellow color but by the time i got home i definitely wished that i was in something more casual and immediately threw a hoodie on kind of wished i wore trainers and unfortunately i've actually bashed my toe up so i'm not wearing trainers today either but anyway this is the base of today's outfit i have got my trusty zara body on in the black and then i've got a astrid and me necklace in gold which is like just kind of highlighting the neckline i did originally have it sitting like that but it moves about i've got my normal amazon apple watch strap on and then i've got my zara i think these are mom jeans are these the slim fit mom jeans i will link to them they were the pair that i loved from my jeans shopping video and then i've got a pair of just like zara flip-flop sandals on because i bashed my little toe up i just know if i wear any shoe that like goes over my toe which is basically most shoes that aren't my sandals it's just gonna hurt so much so it's warm enough today that i can get away with these it's not scorching but it is sunny there's a little bit of a breeze but nothing that my feet can't take and i'll obviously have a jacket on with this which i will show you now so i've thrown on the h&m duster kind of trench coat which i think works so well with this outfit it's just a very simple color palette i feel really chic in it really comfortable casual but like pulled together at the same time do you ever throw together an outfit and you just think 
why do I not remember to wear stuff like this all the time because I just feel so lovely and so comfortable but like great in it like why do I not just dress like this all the time sometimes I think I overthink outfits way too much and actually this this is so cool it is between 10 and 13 degrees today with winds of like 14 miles I think it's miles per hour I feel fairly confident in the things I'm saying and then I go to say them on camera and I'm like I've always just assumed that it's measured in this, but maybe it's not. So when I sound like I'm questioning something, it's literally just I'm having a last minute crisis of confidence. <laughs> but anyway, so slightly less windy than yesterday, which was 16. So I'm thinking this outfit will be absolutely fine. I've also kept it simple in terms of the jewelry. I probably should take this off as well, to be honest, but I just threw it on this morning whilst I was getting ready and I had to finish off another vlog and stuff like that. But I'm very precious about my earrings, so I just really didn't want to like take them off in there and forget about them because I really, basically, Basically, I really wanted to wear the Fendi earrings, which are my pride and joy. And I, I was like, nah, I'll forget them and I'll leave them and I'll just be absolutely heartbroken. So yeah, that's today's outfit. On my lips, I have the same lipstick as yesterday and it's pretty much the exact same face of makeup. I might take you through that at some point because I'm really enjoying like the really pared back glowy makeup at the moment. It is very, very similar to my minimal makeup for spring that I did though, actually. When I'm thinking about it, it's very, very similar. So I'm going to link that video i think the only difference will be the charlotte tilbury pillow talk mascara for sure but everything else very very similar so we'll link that today nala is wearing a little beige knit from amazon oh and she wants a belly wrap i am not surprised by that at all she literally matches the sofa you are just something else aren't you also torn between bag options today i forgot to go through them i obviously love the yellow i love the beige so much i have no regrets over these two but i think i might go with this one today it's from zara and i just think it's like the best little like popping out bag and i'm not gonna take my it's still got the tag in it it's ridiculous but i don't think i'm gonna take my laptop to the hairdressers with me just because i haven't seen her in ages and i probably will talk to her that sounds like i normally don't talk to her but I do <laughs> and I've actually never taken my laptop in when I go to see this particular hairdresser so yeah I think I'm gonna go for this bag because it will just fit all of my little essentials that I need and it's cute it looks so good with the black and denim and then the chain obviously works really nicely with my necklace and jewelry that I would wear as well love a chunky gold chain Good morning everybody I am ready bang on time this morning which is such a rarity and we only have a small explosion on the bed and the chair I can't even talk about the chair Oh, radio. I'm gonna show you this morning's outfit. I'm very happy with this one, actually. I always love blue tones in the spring. If you go back on my Instagram, it's something that you will see over and over again. But after having my hair done, I think I'm gonna love it even more. I think it works really well because my hair is now quite like cool toned all over my hair is a weird like ashy color at the root but then the second it like grows and the sun like hits it over time it goes super super warm and like red tones so there is often a little bit of a color clash if i'm wearing like cooler tones on my body things that most normal people probably never think about but i really do give thought to there are just some things that dark haired girls like even if you've got really dark hair can wear and pull off that i just can't and it is all down to hair color so i'm taking a advantage of the current hair colour and going for an all blue outfit. I've got my sandals on from Zara. I need to fake tan my feet so badly. I need to tan. My whole body just needs TLC. I did an express pluck of my eyebrows this morning and <laughs> it was ropey. Let me tell you that. But yeah, I've still got the blister on my little toes. So it is sandals all the way, which has definitely steered my outfit in a certain direction because I can't wear anything like enclosed over my toe, which is very annoying. But anyway, I'm wearing the same Zara jeans. I'm wearing a Zara blue pinstripe shirt as well. You can't really, there we go. It's got the tiny little blue and white stripes, which I love, but from afar just looks like a really beautiful pale blue. The sunglasses, I'm wearing my YSL cat eye sunglasses i love these really excited to have good hair again as well because sunglasses on my head is like my favorite accessory in life and when i have the bun it's just not the same for my bag i've gone for the little beige ysl sac du jour mostly because of the time crunch this morning i was deliberating over the yellow one which i think would look amazing because blue and yellow just kind of like clash but in the best way but yeah i'm gonna keep it like low key so yeah that is my outfit for this morning the weather is 15 degrees which is lovely Lovely, however a little bit windy i'm not going to spend like a ton of time outside like might go for a coffee but normally i just make sure to sit in like a, a wind shielded place and i'm generally okay so i'm gonna just keep this as my outfit so that is it for me today i will check in with you again tomorrow good morning everybody it is saturday we have outfit number one of the day i say outfit number one because i think this one may change i'm about to do just like a lot of cleaning gardening all of that like the home chores 
vibe you know so i've just got a black body on from zara my h&m leggings which i just loved i've had these for so long they last really well they wash really well cannot recommend them enough they're really thick as well they pass the squat test so great for actual like gym leggings as well as you know being cash around the house i'm a big fan of them and then i've got my nike trainers which actually these are my good trainers so i'm going to switch them out to my not so good trainers which are exactly the same just basically green from where i mowed the lawn in them and then i've also got this shirt jacket on which is also from zara might seem like a bit of a weird choice if i'm going to be in the garden but i'm not going to be doing anything too messy and this does clean up really well and it's thick enough to keep me warm it's very breezy today hence the bun the bun is back i enjoyed having my hair down for all of like two days before the wind really i just like cousin it except with shorter shorter hair so yeah it's nice it's going to keep me warm whilst it's a little bit breezy but then i can take it off and just have this body on if i get a bit too hot so that is outfit number one of the day i love this shirt this is just one of those pieces i picked up from zara that i'm just like oh i just will never get bored of you it's so cute it's actually been at ryan's for a month now i think and i've been missing it so much so i made sure to grab it this morning before i came home but yeah that is this morning's outfit i will show you my garden chilling outfit hopefully a little bit later fingers crossed the weather holds up and i get actually get a chance to chill in the garden and here we have this evening's chill outfit my garden at the top of the garden is such a sun trap so i literally just went and tested it and i was like oh this is perfect i am wearing an another stories dress this one is fitted on the top half it normally has straps as well but i actually realized today the straps are removable which is just the best because i actually just really felt like wearing something strapless today and this is just perfect it's meant to be a midi dress but it's a little bit longer than that on me and then i'm just wearing my zara flip-flops because i'm just really obsessed with them first i was wearing them because i had a blister solidly for days and now i'm just wearing them because i absolutely love them just still got my and other stories earrings in as well my watch strap i get a lot of questions on the watch strap it's always linked i'm pretty certain in the info box but it's from amazon but yeah that is this evening's little chilling in the garden outfit feeling very grateful that those of us in the uk have finally got some sunshine in our lives even if it is very windy i actually had so much dirt blown in my face which is why i am currently standing back here but i'll take it i will take hey everybody. it everybody so today is sunday we are off out on a dog walk yeah <laughs> these two are ready to go and uh we are all wearing black today even nala has a black amazon dog jumper on i am wearing a h&m trench coat you've obviously seen this a lot already this week it's quite windy today so i just wanted to throw that on over this light knit it's quite thin so i think with all of the wind this would be quite chilly just on its own i am wearing a big like sports bra underneath it's like a big crop top so it comes down to about here just for the extra warmth i've been out on a walk already this morning so i was wearing that under like my kind of leggings and hoodie earlier oh this is from brandy melville by the way but so so long ago i've had it in my wardrobe for i think well over five years now i've then got my all saints leather leggings and then my nike trainers my ysl bag and then i'm also gonna wear my ysl sunglasses as well so yeah this is the overall look just really nice and easy if in doubt an all black outfit is it for me especially on these days where it's sunny outside but the temperature is not cooperating with my vibe of like cute spring outfits so this is nicely layered i can take things off if things get a bit too hot but i'm also not going to be too chilly when it gets crazy windy good morning everybody yesterday monday i had the worst earache so i was like full no makeup vibes actually like just fully slobbing out it was not cute so we skipped today it is tuesday and today i just have a real low-key chilled outfit because we just don't need any extra faff today i've gone for a plain white tee i think this one is from zara and then i've got my asos split hem jeans just a little pair of flip-flops i really like this kind of shape to a shoe with the split hems i find that if i go for something that goes across the foot it just doesn't look quite right i think with the bare skin around the ankle it just suits having a slightly more like pointed foot silhouette does that make sense yeah i love these jeans they're like they're actually i think meant to be a black but lots of people look at them and they're like oh they're like a dark vintage blue wash they're whatever you want them to be basically but i love the beigey colored stitching on them and the warm toned gold buttons so yeah that is the overall look and then for accessories i've got this astrid and me necklace which i think is part of their new collection i think it's called the serene 
collection i just thought it was so pretty i was wearing a dress earlier for filming and it just looked really really cute with that and then i've got the and other stories hoop earrings which i just think are so cute they're really nice because they're a little bit bigger than all of the other hoops i have so they're just like a little bit more statement but without being too overpowering and then just got my hair in a little bun that is it for today and i'll probably just throw if i need to go out which i don't i would probably throw a leather jacket over the top and just keep it really nice and simple or a trench coat everybody i have a zoom call i need to jump on really quickly so i'm gonna make this one a little bit brief but this is just a little dress that i've thrown on because i want to look like pulled together but i really don't have time <laughs> to think about a full outfit because i've literally just finished work and i have to jump on this call so wanted to look cute on top but yeah like i said not worry about the full outfit so i've gone for this and other stories dress which is wrap around which i really love because you can just tie it tighter if you need it tighter or looser if you need it looser it's absolutely perfect it's in a really beautiful nude shade it could do with a bit of a steam but i'm gonna be sitting down so i'm not too worried about that but yeah it's actually a really lovely color i didn't get to wear this at all last year but i'm really excited to get a lot of wear out of it this spring summer hopefully i will link it if it's still available and if not then i'll try and find dupes good morning everybody so today we have a very simple little white shirt black trouser combo i'm actually really enjoying this i just have like calls and zoom meetings today so it's an at home worky day i have zero plans to go out because the weather's just looking very unpredictable basically whenever i see like sunny cloudy rainy i just am like you don't know okay cool but it is kind of like spitting a little bit at the moment so it's just not one of those days where i want to really be outside i've gone for this white shirt from zara which has this like tie little thing going on and then these trousers are my old top shop ones which i have had for so long i love them they've been an absolute staple in my wardrobe over the past five six years and then i've got some little zara sliders on which i really enjoy because these are the quilted ones i think you guys will have seen a lot before i've had them for a couple of years now and they are so great not only for like when you're walking outside they're so comfortable have like never rubbed giving me a blister nothing they're very cute but they're also because they're quilted they're a little bit like padded so they're almost like slippers but they don't look like slippers so it kind of puts me in work mode and i'm not wearing my like super cute very cozy fluffy slippers for jewelry i have my astrid and Mew necklace which is the same one i think you will have seen me wearing yesterday this is new and i'm just really really enjoying it it literally came through the door yesterday and i was like this is so cute i love the chain detailing it's that kind of chain that's got like a woven in four ways kind of thing i really like it and then the little pearl on it is almost like opalescent and i love that it just gives it a bit more depth and i think that's really cute i've got my raimi little blue and gold earrings in i've made like a little pact with myself this morning that i'm gonna switch up my jewelry because i feel like i've been very samey with my jewelry lately tomorrow is gonna be a whole different vibe i will not be <laughs> repeat wearing the same jewelry yeah i'm really loving like astrid me and Raimi pieces at the moment i wear them on repeat but yeah that is today's outfit and if i do need to run out like for whatever reason it's like around 13 degrees but the wind's fairly low so it's gonna actually be quite mild ish so i'll just throw my black trench coat on with this and It'll be nice and easy. I also did my makeup a little bit differently today, so I thought I'd talk you through the slightly different items that I used to usual. These are very different for me. I used the Bobbi Brown High Shine Liquid Eyeshadow in Gold Fusion. It's like a brownie kind of gold colour, really pretty. And then I used the KKW Lip Liner in 90s Runway, which is like, hang on, let me pop it. It's like a pinky brownie nude kind of vibe but yeah that's the kind of color and then I just pat it in a little bit and I patted in a lighter nude just into the center of my lips I also wore a different foundation which I forgot to say this is the Dior Forever Summer Skin switching it out for summer just like really trying to do like not only a rain dance because my plant babies in the garden do need some rain but also trying to do like a little summer dance of like can I just have a little mini heat wave just for like a week but yeah i use that on my skin i actually used it last summer like once and it then got to the point where my skin was just going crazy so i had to like cut everything back and just stick to products that like i know my skin likes because my skin was just like freaking out so much it just gives a lovely coverage like a nice wash of coverage and a real gorgeous glow and the shade match is really good actually too i'm using the shade fair light which i actually think as i go into summer i will need a dark shade it's actually bang on right now and i'm really happy good morning with everybody so today is thursday this is actually the day that you are seeing this so hi from present me today today's weather is just kind of like a little bit unpredictable not sure if it it looks like it could rain it's not scheduled to rain we're being given sunny cloudy 
vibes all day. Temperature is gonna get as high as 13. It's not particularly windy, but it's not warm either. I have absolutely no intentions of leaving the house now. I did go for a walk this morning when the weather was like a little bit sunnier than it is now. I just wore literally a pair of leggings and a black hoodie and it was nothing that I really wanted to document, but I also was in such a rush because I woke up 10 minutes before I was scheduled to walk with Lauren. So I literally had to just throw something on and leave. I didn't even get a chance to vlog it because I actually was kind of planning on it, but it wasn't cute. So, you know, we didn't really miss much there. But this is my little working from home outfit today. I really like this actually. It is almost a full Zara look. So we've got my white Zara body, which you guys will know if you've watched my videos for, you know, even a little while, you will know. I love them so much. And then these trousers are also Zara. They actually are like a, almost like a linen look. It's a very true beige. They're coming off a little bit like more pinky toned on camera, but that could change by the time this gets uploaded to YouTube because the color distortion is real. But I will link them as always so you can go and see what they look like in terms of color on the Zara website too. I got these in a size extra small because I've just been having issues with trousers lately. And I was like, the waistband is elasticated. So I'm just gonna like size down because even if they are a little bit snug, they will be elasticated and it'll be fine. And they're actually like, there's still a lot of room to move. They also work really, really well with the white body, which I'm super happy about. They work really nicely with the black one too. And then I've got my Vedra trainers on, which I love. I'm finding like, I obviously don't have carpet. I'm wearing my shoes more around the house at the moment because it just makes me feel a little bit more like I'm not in my pajamas. When I'm wearing like socks or slippers, I just feel a bit more like lazy. So I'm really enjoying actually wearing footwear around the house, which I think is gonna really divide opinions. There's also a matching jacket that goes with these trousers. So I'm gonna show you that now. Also worth noting, you'll see on the website that the trousers have this kind of rolled up look to them. I've actually rolled them up again because small people problems. So if you are a similar height to me, just know that you can do that and it looks fine because I, I think it looks fine. And I don't think you would have noticed if you'd compared them to the website because they do have that like already turned up look. So this is the jacket. I'm gonna throw it on. I like to roll the sleeves up on this because it makes it a little bit more casual. Let me show you in the mirror. The sleeves rolled up gives it a much more casual look because I do find blazers can just so easily look super formal, very work wary, which is great if you work in an office. But for me, if I wasn't going to like meetings or anything like that, I would feel a little bit like, mm, can I can I roll with this? But because the sleeves are rolled up and it also has like a linen-y kind of look to it, like a really relaxed material kind of look, but it's actually like a polyester viscose mix but it just has a nice kind of almost linen-iness to it, which gives it that casualness as well, which I really, really like. And because it just has that hint of like more of a casual co-ord to it, it works really, really well with my trainers as well. Just a very nice one for throwing on and immediately looking pulled together. And this is gonna make a great spring jacket for me as well. Lots of you will know I've been on the hunt for spring jackets lately and I've actually done a very big order, which this is part of, which you will be seeing soon because the struggle for spring jackets has been real for me. In terms of jewelry, I have a local eclectic necklace. I can't remember which brand this is from off of there, but I will link it if I can. I've got my Astrid and Miu little hoops. They're very cool. I really like them and they're nice and like subtle. So no giant hoops today. And then all of my other earrings are the same. If you guys want to see like a full jewelry collection, I've done one. I will link it in the info box because I get asked for them all the time. But yeah, that is what my earring situation is looking like. And then I've got my Raimi rings on. I actually think there's a new drop coming next Wednesday and I'm really excited for it. I just signed up for VIP today because I am ready. I need the new like Lucky collection. Is it Lucky? And then I really want all of the lilac stoned items. Like I just really want them. But yeah, that's my jewelry situation. And then makeup is the exact same as yesterday. So that is it for today's outfit. And that is gonna be it for this what I wore in a week. Let me know if you wanna see more of these because I know I haven't done one in such a long time. Let me know if they are helpful. I know the weather is just so unpredictable right now, especially if you're in the UK. I don't really know what it's like elsewhere. Is the weather and temperature aspect helpful? Is it just like pointless? Let me know. But I hope you're all having the best day and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.